Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel. This is a game called The Pedestrian. Now this is a game we actually started playing way, 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 way back at pretty much at the very beginning of this channel. Um, so a little bit of this gameplay will have been seen before if, um, if you go back and watch those. It's some of my really, really early stuff though, so it's a bit cringeable to go back and watch. But this was a game at the time I said was so amazing, but I, I when it properly came out, I wanted to come back and play it. Um, it is a 2.5D uh, platform scroller game, basically, uh, where you play as a stick figure. Um, uh, but at the moment, we're playing as this little dot here. So <laughs> we are this little dot, um, and it's basic keys, uh, either arrows or WSAD, um, to move around. And I wanted to bring you straight in on this because the game starts without any introduction. Uh, we're actually starting playing the game right now. Um, and the first thing we have to do is pick our character here. So we will go for this guy here. And now, yeah, we're, we're carrying on. So we play a stick for gun. And wonderful, wonderful thing about this game. It is like any 2D platform scroller you've ever played. But it's set within a 3D world. And it is beautiful this game it is so so beautiful and you'll see what i mean as we travel through the door there <laughs> and now we're on a sign on the wall we can just move around we can jump around um and as we go through this you'll see just the different design styles um and i think now we have to press f and we have these two here so we have to get from this one to this one and so we have to link that door to that door, press F again, and then we can go through. And that's it, this is the game style all the way through. But you have so many different, amazing different places you can go. And some of the puzzles in this are really quite difficult. So you should just be able to jump up and again here, and we go through. I'm not sure what the levels are like on the volume on this, I may have to do a little bit before in editing but we'll have a look and we just carry on through and it's nice and simple in this it's just an introduction to the game and the credits and everything um but here we have another puzzle so we have to i believe with this one it's easiest if you drag that on over to here you can move these all the way around if we come in this way and then in this way now with this i mean you could go down to here or even go through maybe to here? No. So we could go into there but then we'd be stuck trying to jump up there so we can't do that. So we'll come through into this one, out of this one, into that one. And then we press F again to go back into the puzzle and we can move around. And we come through and out. And into this next one. And so here we want to do something uh, like this. It's easier sometimes with this if you move all the pieces around, get them into some kind of order you want to be in, and then we can come out of there and into here, and then down and out. So there we go. Now I've heard with this game it isn't too long, it's much longer than it used to be. Um, and on Steam at the moment, it came out on Steam like three days ago, of goodness, came out uh, January 29th, 2020. Um, and so, you know, I think it was like 2017 I, I first showed this game. So I'm interested to see how much further it's got since then. What kind of different variety it's got now. Because there's not really too much, too much to the gameplay of this. It's just pretty much this all the way through. But it is really fun. It's got some really nice music in it. And it should have a lot of different variety in the, in the levels. Even if we're not you know, go around shooting and killing people and, and gathering up resources and digging mines and everything like we would in other games. I thought this was a nice little uh, test to see what we can do. Oh, pressing P actually takes you back to the, um, the, the beginning of the level. I thought it was pick up, but it's not. So I think it's is it up to pick stuff up. Yeah, I thought this was a nice little uh, change from the rest of the pace of some of the stuff we're doing. So I can't remember what the keys are to as ah, E. Right, okay. Actually shows you look on, on the uh, if I 
just here. You can get a cursor. Um, it shows you. We can press E to pick up the key. So press E, and that will mean we can unlock that. And we come through. And then we're over here. Now this is a puzzle one. We have a puzzle piece here. And whenever you see that puzzle piece, you can press F to uh, um, go into this mode. So I think with this one we have to... The easiest way is to um, come down from here into here. Now what you can do with this, I believe, if we press F, we can actually go down now. And so we're into this one. Um, ah, right, okay. That was a bug in, in the original game, where you could actually move your guy into this room and then reuse this piece uh, if you wanted to. You see, you could actually uh, push him around a bit more. It doesn't look like we can do that. So if we drag these across to there, so you actually have to complete the puzzle before you move the guy now. Um, and that should, if we come in through that door, we will have the key. We'll come up through this ladder and out. Okay. So we go down and down. Press E on that. So we now have a key. Jump up. Through the door, up, up the ladder, and out. And so now... Yeah, I've really enjoyed this game in the past. Uh, with this one, let's have a look. We need to... Ah, so we can actually do this a bit weird, because you can cross these over. So if we come in through this one and out through uh, that one, then we can join up there. Or, is that the way we could do it? Uh, yes, yeah, like that. Okay, so now we come in through this door. Now we come down. Now we come out through that door and we're on the top. We can pick up the key, we can go back down again, open the door, and we're through. So you can see it gets a little bit harder as we go. No fall damage, which is good. That's just showing us that there is no fall damage. And so here we have um, an elevator, I suppose. Okay. That was fairly simple. I can't remember exactly where we got to in the um, original. Okay. Right, and now we come through here. This will push us up to here. We can do that. Now these are going to... Yes, we need to get on this while it extends. There we go. I haven't seen that level before. That's a new one. And on here, can we just press these? Right, this is a puzzle. So we want to extend both of these. So I'm thinking we actually want to do this. Actually, I suppose it doesn't matter which one we do first. They can't be too far away from each other. So if we go down here and launch this, And then we come down here. Now this is only going to raise it once, isn't it? Ah, right, okay. So this is a bit more complicated. So we do actually want to come out of here and we will reset the level. Uh, because we want to go down this one first. And then through this one. So, yes, we want to go down through this one first, start this one going off, come back over into here, raise this one up, and then we can get on to here. So come down through there. And across and down. Hit that one. So now if we stand on here, we can jump up and up. 
There we go. I don't know how much we're going to do in each episode. I really don't know how long this game is. I think if I remember the last time I did this, um, I tried to do two episodes of it. And the, the second episode just turned out to be, um, well, not much at all, really. <laughs> um, it, it was yeah, it was like a, a like a two-minute episode at the end. Where am I coming out here? Okay, you can actually manually do those. So let's see. Yes, right, okay. That right, just tells me that this can call this, but when you're in an elevator, then you can manually make it go up and down. So for this one, let's have a look where we are. We can get across to... Oh no! That is where we where we end up. So, this level here, let's have a look. We are... We are here. We need to get out of here. So I would imagine... That would want to go there. That would want to go there. That would go... Uh... Right, okay, so I can't do that one. Because we need to open this, so we, need, we can't get down this ladder until we've opened this. So that means that the exit must be the last thing we go down means we need to bring these up just a little bit make it easier this will go down to here um, if we actually go into this one then we can pick that up on the way past let's try this see if we've got it right so we come up here and up here to the first level, come across and hit this, that will raise that um, barrier up there, head up in the elevator, down the ladder and we're out. Excellent. I love these lateral thinking problems. These are the kind of games I can spend hours and hours and hours on and just get completely lost in uh, which is why it's sometimes quite difficult commentating on it because I just want to play <laughs> um, and it can get where's this so I need to go yeah it can get a bit um, difficult so that one would want to go to there I think I believe now Maybe not because... Ah, there we go. Um, so that would want to go... Oh, right, this has got a key on it, so I can't use this one. So I need to get the key first before I go into this room. So we can come out of that door, into this door, down, we have a ladder which can bring us into this room. We can also pick up the key. No, that needs to come down into this room here. And then we need to come down into here. I believe. We can pick up the key there and then come out of there. Okay, so first of all, we pick up the key and come across into here, down and down, down the ladder. No, right, okay. I have done that wrong. Because we need to get 
into this room first. Oh, right, okay, so I've just got these two the other way around. Yes, so if I take that one off there, that goes to there, and then that one somehow goes to there. This might look a bit messy, but I believe it's going to work. Let's have a look. Head down, head down, and that should bring us out to there. We pick that up, we go across, and into here, up, 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 and away. Nice simple level. I like the fact that it's got these actually. You can press um, the way I'm moving from level to level is actually carrying on. Say I'm pressing A here to move to the left, and I just keep pressing A. And then if you press D, you can actually come back. So you're actually still moving from level to level. But I love the way they've got these nice little simple like, intermediary problems um, halfway through from a hard level into another hard level. So I imagine this one's going to be quite difficult. Okay. So this is a battery. Oh, wow. This is new. Okay. Right, okay, that's new. <laughs> and the way you can actually play around with stuff like that lift just on the signs is brilliant. It's a really, really clever game. Such a wonderfully clever game. We're actually heading down the elevator now. Can't really see around too much. Yeah, you can imagine making this game. So you've got all of this beautiful 3D environment. It's a Unity game. So you've got this entire Unity 3D landscape and you're using it to create a 2D flat platformer. Such a unique concept. Right, I need to jump, I'm gonna jump. So I imagine that laser would hurt. I head across. Oh, springboard. Yay, that's fun. <laughs> and out. Well, I think after we've finished this puzzle, that might be a nice area to leave this. So we need to actually put something in to allow us to jump up there. Um, and then we need to go, let's see, what have we got? Um, we need to come in from the bottom of this one. Uh, we have, right, this one needs to be here. So I need to connect to that one because it's the only one that can do from where we are. And then this one needs to, oh, what's Discord wanting? I'll just shut that one off. It's happened twice now, therefore it'll happen again. Just mute that. There we go. Um, so we are... Start off here, jump up into there. This opens up to there. Now we're on to this one. This door here. Which will be... Hmm. Don't really want to... Hit this. I think it'll be s no. Um, is this just a dummy? Let's just try something. We 
We come out here. Is everything else? Ah, no, 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 no. I think this... I think I know what we need to do here. So if I come back down into this one... Right, let's just start the game up again. We need to get this block down here. Out, down, down, and across to here. So that must connect up to there. And so now, come across to here, jump up. We need to jump across. Now I imagine and jump across again. I imagine that I can pull that block as well as push it. I'm hoping so. So now if we come up all the way up to the top. Yes we can. Okay. So now we pull this all the way through. And push it. And come down and push again. All the way through to there. I keep pressing F instead of E. And there we go. Right, this is where I'm going to leave it. Uh, it's a decent um, introduction to the game. Um, I just wanted to show you this. It has come out on Steam very recently. Um, the link to the Steam page is down in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, go and get it on Steam because it's well, well worth it. Um, I don't know exactly how much is involved in this game. We will find out as we go through the series. Um, but it'll probably be a very short series at least. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on the video and to the channel. And I will. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting on the videos. Thanks. See you next time.